In this session, we're going to format our SD card ready for our operating system for the Raspberry Pi. To do this, we're going to use the application we downloaded from SD Association. So I'm going to head into my applications list, head over to the SD formatter. Once I've selected this application, I need to put in my administrator's password. And then the program will open. If you've got more than one USB or SD card, etc. plugged into your laptop, you need to really make sure, or your desktop computer, that you select the correct device. Otherwise, you could format something you don't want to. So in this case here, I'm actually going to be formatting this one here, which is an SD chip. I've actually placed mine inside a USB micro SD adapter. Some people might be using the micro SD in a SD card adapter and put that in their SD slot. Anyway, whatever method works that you're able to get to is a good idea. Now, first of all, when we come in here, make sure you select. The other thing I would recommend is give it a name. So I'm gonna change mine to RPI, so Raspberry Pi 2, because it's gonna go into Raspberry Pi 2. I'm gonna use the quick format, but I'm gonna go into options and I'm gonna change this to yes. This will allow it to be used on multiple devices. So it's like a generic format. So therefore, when I put the operating system on here, the Raspberry Pi will be able to pick this up easily and start its Linux install. So once I've selected yes, I can click OK, and then I can click Format. Now the format process doesn't take very long as a quick format. So that is done. So now the card is ready to have the operating system placed on it. If you are using a web, or if you are using the PC version, When you've downloaded the application from the SD Association, when you open this program up, you will actually then have the same options of selecting the correct drive, etc. But you need to actually select on options here and select adjust format and you can turn this on as well. And this will help it get ready for the um, Linux install if you're coming from a PC. So in the next video, we'll actually look at the operating system itself.